Just what happened to Malaysian Airlines flight MH370? The plane, carrying 239 passengers and crew, left Kuala Lumpur 41 minutes past midnight on March the 8th, en route to Beijing. About an hour into the flight, one of the plane's vital communication systems, known as ACARS, sent what would be its last message. It wasn't long before the plane's transponder, which communicates with ground radar, stopped. The plane then did not check in with Vietnamese air traffic control. It was then detected by Malaysian military radar flying west before heading out over the Indian Ocean. That was the last time flight MH370 was seen. Despite disappearing from radar, the plane continued to ping its location every hour for seven hours after the final communication with ground control. This suggested the plane travelled in one of two flight corridors, north or south. One north between Thailand and Kazakhstan, the other south between Indonesia and the southern Indian Ocean. Recent analysis suggests that there was one last partial handshake with the satellite eight minutes later. By crunching the numbers, engineers concluded that the plane ended its journey in the southern Indian Ocean. Now the hunt is on to find and retrieve the aircraft's so-called black boxes, which hold the secrets of the cockpit communication and the flight's data. Attached to the black boxes is an underwater locator beacon. This emits ultrasonic pings every second for around 30 days before the battery starts to die. To find them, an Australian naval ship, possibly the Ocean Shield, will slowly drag an underwater towed pinger locator which can detect the black box's pings from a depth of 6,000 metres and from up to 3,000 metres away. An underwater drone equipped with sonar and cameras, the Bluefin 21, will also be deployed. It can scan the ocean floor to a depth of 4,500 metres. Search teams hope this will help us to understand the fate of the 239 people on board flight MH370.